I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. And we recently hosted a summer camp for kids who are nonverbal and use communication devices. And one day my friend Joel from Animalia came in and showed them all kinds of creatures, including a hedgehog and a parrot and some all interesting other interesting kinds of animals. And when Joel does these presentations, he does some special things for kids with disabilities and he's going to tell us about that. Hi there, my name is Joel Vanderbush and I'm a zoologist with Animalia and uh, one of the things that we like to do is try to connect people and animals uh, so that they can gain a, gain a better appreciation of animals uh, and how to interact with them uh, but we also like to use animals uh, as a way to connect students with special needs uh, to uh, different uh, things so that they can have a different experience than they would normally have. Uh, and one of the things that we like to do is to use tactile animals, certainly, uh, animals that you are able to touch. Now one would say, you are holding a hedgehog and it's very spiky, wouldn't that hurt to touch it? But as long as you touch it correctly, as we did with many of our special needs students, we teach them the correct way to touch an animal so that they don't uh, get hurt or get scared from that animal. Uh, so we do try to teach them many different ways uh, that they can find a connection with an animal uh, to give some enrichment to their lives. Uh, so one of the other things that we take into great account is some of the natural abilities of animals, uh, such as this hedgehog to roll up in a ball, uh, so that we can see uh, how animals will try to survive in the wild uh, and again try to relate that to students' lives. Uh, so one of the things to think about, I think, uh, is probably the most important thing to think about when working with students with special needs is that they have a special need. That need needs to be met and so we try to meet those needs by appealing to many different learning styles uh, and consider uh, what it is that a student can uh, do uh, and not focus on what they can't do. Uh, so focusing on what they can do allows us to uh, bring animals to their lives uh, that they may not normally get to see. So thank you very much for having us out and uh, to learn more, feel free to go to our website at animalia.us. So we really appreciate Joel coming in and spending some time with our kids. And that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Abby? Wow. wow.